Hello travellers, today we're taking a look at the 36 litre Valden's backpack from IKEA. I did a previous hands-on with this bag and the link is in the top right if you would like to see that one. But in this video I'll be talking a little bit more about what I liked and didn't like about this bag and just going slightly more in depth with some of the features of the bag and how they feel in practice. If you take a look at the bag's design, it may come across as fairly plain and lacking in pockets. And it does look like it would be a top loading bag. However, if you turn the bag around and flip the straps back, it is actually a real full clamshell panel loading backpack. And it gives you complete access to the inside of the main compartment. Taking a closer look around the outside of the bag, there are also two hidden pockets. These would be useful for stashing like earphones or notepads. The field notes notebook fits in here perfectly. The front also has a strange large pouch with cinchable cords on either side. And I don't really know what they expect this pocket would be used for, but I think you could put a jacket or some loose items in here whilst passing through TSA security. We could probably also use it for a drink bottle as there are no external drink bottle pockets. The bag has a top zip too, which leads into the main compartment. A little bit of an odd design, but I guess if you wanted to quickly store something in the bag without fully opening it, it's nice to have. On the bottom of the bag is a small zippered compartment which actually leads into the main compartment but with its own enclosed pocket. And this is designed for storing shoes but could easily be used to store anything you want such as a camera cube or even a jacket. It's worth noting that whatever you put in here takes away from the space in the main compartment. In terms of how much you can pack in here and how long you can travel with, it's definitely on the large end for one bag backpack sizes and you could easily travel for months with this bag. Although that also comes down to efficiency and how much laundry that you're willing to deal with. But for a beginner getting into one bagging, I think it's an affordable and sizable starting bag that would definitely help you learn the ins and outs of packing with only one bag. Especially since the main compartment is just a single area, so it encourages the use of packing cubes, which fortunately IKEA also makes several packing cubes. I also did a review on one of them here if you want to click in the top right hand corner to see that one. My favourite feature of this bag is that it only weighs 730 grams or 1.6 pounds, which means that it's quite a bit lighter than many of the other popular one bags and means you have less weight overall to carry on your back and you can pack more in it if you need to. For me I was able to carry my usual packing cube, electronic pouch, toiletries and I also had a lot of extra space left over. I also put my 13 inch laptop in the dedicated laptop pocket which can hold probably up to a 15 or so laptop, I'm not actually sure, but it is a very large area. And unfortunately it doesn't have padding that goes all the way around the edge so you probably would want to put your laptop in its own padded sleeve before carrying it in here for any serious travel. The build quality of the bag doesn't feel cheap but it does leave me wondering how long it would last with heavy usage. I believe IKEA have a pretty good warranty on it though and there are IKEAs in most countries in the world, so if you did ever have a problem with it, I don't think it would be too hard to replace. One thing I didn't really like about the design of this bag is that the cinch cords on the side don't have any elastic to hold them down, so they just kind of flap around and generally look a little bit messy. Another thing I didn't really like is the straps themselves. They're quite high up on the bag and relatively thinly padded for a bag of this size, so carrying a heavily packed bag for a longer period of time could possibly become uncomfortable. Also, the design of the bag looks a little bottom heavy and a little strange on your back, depending on how it's packed. Finally, the price is surprisingly affordable at $39.99 US dollars, which is an absolute steal for the features, the size and the weight of the bag. Overall, I think it's a really great bag, especially for the price, and you can't really beat it. I think it would be especially suited to beginners or those looking for a larger or lighter bag for future travels, or even just a weekender bag. Let me know down in the comment what is your favourite backpack, and please be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with future videos.